How many dumb rich people do you know? I mean, the chances are you don't want to admit it, but we know a fair share of dumb, successful, thriving individuals. And here's where I want to challenge you a little bit. Could the reason be that you are too smart for your own good? So in this video, we're going to find out how and why dumb people get rich. You're going to say, well, Neil, that's not very nice of you to call people dumb. Well, we know what I'm talking about. If you're here, you know my heart, okay? Um, but here's what I mean. Why is it that you, someone who is intelligent, someone who is capable, someone who has all of the opportunity to do better than you're currently doing right now, why are you not experiencing that thing that you want? Why are you working a job that you don't want to work? Why are you living in an area or a house that brings energy out of you? Why are you driving something that doesn't bring you joy? Could it be because you as a human being, as a significant other, as a parent, as a spouse, as an employee or employer, as an entrepreneur, that you're just too freaking smart. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I've been challenged when I looked at some of my less than stellar colleagues and less than stellar friends and even family members. When I saw them experiencing levels of success that I knew I was supposed to hold on to. So I became a student of dumb people of individuals who would come and say I'm not the smartest in my class but this is how I became successful I was not the best looking or had the best background or came from the right environment but look at where I am now and I learned a lot from these quote unquote dumb people those who did not have all of the opportunities who did not have the advantages that I had and yet they were dwarfing me with the results that they were we're experiencing so we're going to see why dumb people get rich and how we can join the ranks of our dumb successful colleagues peers friends and family members now the first thing I've learned is that dumb people like to kiss now you're probably saying well I like to kiss too so maybe it's okay that you're calling me dumb but here's what I mean by kiss it is a keep it simple and if you want to say stupid, feel free. So many times as smart individuals, as someone who knows more than we should, we're always trying to be intelligent, trying to recreate, want to be creative. Well, my friends know that if they can keep it simple, if they can not try to rework the progress or reinvent, if they simply read the books, uh, found a mentor, got a coach, someone who was already doing the thing, living the life, experiencing the dream that they want to dream, then they would be rich. And when I say rich, I'm not talking monetarily. When I say rich, I'm talking about living the life that you have designed. Maybe shooting videos in your backyard on a Wednesday. Maybe it is having your children, your family travel first class or go where you want, when you want, with who you want for as long as as you want. Maybe your idea of rich is having the physical health so you can move and play or just get out in public so that you're not ashamed. Maybe your idea of being rich is taking the time to pen that autobiography that you've always wanted to. So when I say rich, we're talking about those values, those dreams, those aspirations and goals that you want to achieve. Now we, as I mentioned, we want to keep it simple, stupid. How can we we break the most complex thing down so that we remove all thinking from the process. Another way that dumb people get rich is one that I believe we really need to embrace again. It is to ask questions. And I intentionally put three question marks right here because what I found is the most successful of us those who did not have the education maybe they didn't have the experience what do they do they ask and ask and ask again and then they'll ask one more time just to be sure that they got it right so I'm asking you right now how often do you ask questions or do you want to appear as if 
you have all of the answers. I know that my friends, my dumb mentors, my dumb coaches, my dumb peers who are light years ahead of me. What they said is, Neil, let's keep it really simple because we're not so smart, right? But then if we don't understand, if we want to know, let's ask. And what we find out is there are people who want to answer questions. They want to give you the roadmap, the blueprint. But oftentimes those individuals don't want to insult us by saying, maybe she doesn't know, maybe he doesn't know because we never ask the question. So if we keep it simple and we start asking questions, we're going to go to this next piece, this naivete, being naive. And here's why dumb people get rich by being naive. They actually believe that whatever they are going after in life is possible. Now, I don't think it's a righteous belief. I believe it comes from a place of no experiencing, no experience, not knowing what is possible, not knowing if this dream that's in their heart, this idea they have in their head is even possible. Many young realtors get into this industry if they've been protected and shielded by um, or from many naysayers. They'll get in and have a stellar first year, first few months. Why? Because they're naive. They don't know that they aren't supposed to believe in themselves. Most new realtors, if they've been protected and shielded from the old fogies, they don't know that they're not supposed to sell multi-million dollar properties in their first or second transaction. They don't know that someone with money that comes to them is going to be more interested in the experience that they give than the experience that the agent has. Okay, so this is where that no experience piece. Be, having belief comes from our naivete. And this is where in kids, what do we say as parents? If we see a naive kid, what do we say? They're cute. They're innocent. They're curious. They're so inquisitive. But we, as the smart ones who might not be as rich as our dumb counterparts, what do we call naive adults? We call them dumb. And then we make excuses. Well, she had a leg up. It's only because he was born in the right environment or went to the right school or knew the owner of the company. It was just the right time at the right place. Life isn't fair. Well, here's what I want to encourage us to do. What if we went back to these naive childish days when we were innocent, inquisitive, curious, and asked questions? What if we knew what we didn't know enough to not know and then start keeping it simple instead of wanting to appear buttoned up and having all the answers? What if we said, what do you mean by that? How did you get to where you are? Yes, I know that maybe I should be further along because I'm older than you, but you're doing really well. Would you be willing to show me? And then most importantly, dumb people on their road to riches and success, they do what the smart ones of us refuse to do, where we hesitate, where we double dutch in life. And that's dumb people take action. They say, well, if this is all I know to do, I ask the questions, I'm keeping it simple, this is what I've learned, I just need to do it. I just need to pick up the phone and make the phone calls. I just need to go in and execute a few trades. I need to reach out to a booking or speaking agent. I need to ask someone for the sale. I need to approach him or her and ask them for a date. The answer is yes. Take action. Are you so smart that you haven't perfected your craft, your service, your product, your offering, and that that you're paralyzed now and refusing to take action? I do believe in the saying that sometimes you don't want to just do something, you want to wait. But I also believe that sometimes the best thing to do 
is to take action, especially if we've already known, if we're just waiting on the sideline of life. Because every day we don't take action, we could be delaying our dream, our future, our promise, our destiny, the impact of and own generations. We could be pushing that back days, months, or even years. So here's my ask of you smart people. I'm going to ask you to join us dumb folk, those who want to be rich and who are working toward being rich. Keep it simple. Ask a lot of questions. Believe in your naivete and then come through and even with no experience, say, hey, I'm going to take action. I don't know what the outcome is, but I know the life that I'm living right now. And it's not the one that I dream about when my head hits the pillow. So I hope that you found this information, this video informative. This is just a plea from one dumb guy to maybe many more. We should all be rich. We'll talk about why in a subsequent video. I hope that this video really has ignited a spark under you. Hopefully you are subscribed to the channel. If not, hit that subscribe button right now. I even waited for you. But then also share this video with family members, friends. Share this video with some smart people that might need to dumb it down just a little bit. Or if you have a dumb rich friend, send this to them and say, hey, I have this guy who's trying to be as dumb and as rich as you are. But most importantly, be sure to comment on this video. Let us know if you're smart, dumb, rich, or working on it and which of these areas do you need to kiss more ask more questions or do you simply need to take action on the things that you already know i would love to hear i'll share with you what those are for me because mine is this part right here taking action i am keeping it very simple that's why i'm shooting a video here in my backyard i've asked the questions of young old um experienced inexperienced successful and unsuccessful individuals and now it has come down to the take action piece so i would love to hear what you have to say in the comment section below most importantly of everything that i've said to you today i want to remind you that i love you god loves you and there's nothing you can do about it and until the next time I see you or you see me, don't be average. Be world renowned. Peace.